Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. So glad to have you all here. Uh, hope you had a good Thanksgiving slash good Thursday. Um, Thanksgiving stream went well, I, I guess. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Uh, we couldn't find, I think it must be on my this computer here, my desktop, the ROM for dinner with friends. We just kind of dicked around with a new file for it and why, am I stuck? Oh, no, okay. We we listened to some rad tunes and played some game and and uh we cooked. We cooked a lot. And then my mom came and my mom we talked we talked a lot about about um if I say a lot it wasn't a whole lot, but You did? Okay. I noticed that you were here and we were talking about you. It looked like you left the chat though. Anyway, Kit, to answer your thing. Um, to answer you. We we hold a we hold a we hold a Thanksgiving stream every year. You were actually the person who suggested putting the uh, Rose Blue and uh, Guilty Gear music on the EXTREME PLAYLIST in the first place. Which is why a lot of the playlist was gone now because the person who had put up all the music I grabbed took it down or it was taken down. I don't know. Anyway, it's good to have you. The stream went well. We cooked, we cooked some things, kind of. I didn't do a very good job in most respects. It was kind of a mess, whatever. Here we are in beautiful summers. Wow. When? God. Several years ago, I think. Probably for, during the first Thanksgiving stream. Because that was the year where we couldn't play music because the the emulator lagged so bad so we brought up our own we made an, our own extreme playlist because cookie mama is hella hardcore no no that was more, definitely more than last year you got to take my word for it though You gotta, you gotta, you gotta trust me on this one. Club Stoic! Look at these line face weirdo kids. We could definitely get in here. What? Of course it's not the Stoic Club, it's Club Stoic. You were, I thought about you and I turned it on. I thought maybe we, it, would call, it would call you forth, but it didn't. It's really weird that they painted the, on the side of the buildings, like... There's actually still more here, but you can't, so I guess I can't get in. Well, guys, that was a bust. Stream's over. We can't get into the club. Where's the museum? Let's go to the museum. Is it full of bones? All right, now, part of the Scaraba, uh, Scaraba Cultural Museum is being remodeled. Do you still want to enter? Three dollars per person. Study hard. This is a much more reasonable price. <laughs> Why would Mr. Tune from the Fourth Museum try to call me? Why would he try to call me? I bet he just wants to brag about something. Well, I'll let him try. I wonder what he wants to tell me. Oh, I dare him to try and upstage me. Oh, pardon me. I was just talking to myself. <laughs> do 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 do. What a mysterious, what a mysterious man. Come on, dude. The, Mr. Spoon seemed really lonely. I, he probably just wanted someone to talk to about museum stuff with. Why well, you gotta be a dick? God, so rude. We did not get into the club. When we tried to get into the club, they were like, 
this is not the Stoic Club, so we couldn't get in. I mean, it, we're, even though we we put up, we put on our we put on our uh, Stoic assist faces. Toten Carmen's casket. So we went to the museum instead. Toten Carmen's pencil box. Strangely, it looks much like his casket. His casket was also a full-size replica. His his pencil box was a full-size replica of his of his eventual casket. No one can say that Toten Carmen didn't plan ahead. I saw a chubby kid about your age here. He looks like he was awfully wealthy. He was being extravagant. Pokey! Toten Carmen's lunchbox. Ram Raisin. Ram Raisin the Fifth's training pot. Training pot as in like training potty like a, a, a like a okay sure ram raisin the forest casket not rum raisin ram raisin ram raisin the third's casket we have both we have both the third and the fourth here on display this was this guy like your turban like the training potty, little little swan shaped training potty. This room is being remodeled, so I can't show it to you. I can't. Well, I usually don't show this room. Once you hit adulthood, you'll understand. I do, however, like jewelry. Perhaps a little, shall we say, under the table deal will be in order. I'm ten. It might be the front. It does kind of look more like an urn, but it might be more like a. Uh, maybe a, you're looking at it from the front. It's kind of like a western. Well, not western, but like a Dracula sort of casket. You know the. One, two, three, four, five, six. And normally six sided. You know the ones I'm talking about. The big long boxes. Anyway, apparently we're gonna need to get jewelry if we want to get to see the things. Are there dudes in those boxes? There might be. I want to talk to this bird. It's a minor bird! The guy next to me is really bugging me. He keeps following me around. There's no one next to you, minor bird. We went to the museum because we couldn't get into the club. We walk into the club and they're like, "No, the club isn't here." So we don't actually we don't actually get into the club at all. They have a hieroglyph from a pyramid, a single hieroglyph from a single pyramid. Incredible. Hang on, we can go talk to the bird again. Talk to me. My mind is complete blank. Whoa. He says something different this time. <laughs> Walk into the club like, what up? Oh, there's no club. Oh! Is it repeating? It's repeating things that are okay. Wake up in the morning, fall in love, eat lunch, fall in love, and at night, fall in love again. That's my dream life. He's repeating things that various people around town are saying. Cause I remember some beach dude saying that one. Is that a mole? What are you doing? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is a family resort! You get, you get out of here! It's ridiculous. You're ridiculous. What is this? You meet the tough guy!
It's gonna kick sand in our face. Why is this bright blue? Um, if you'll notice, if you remember, if you should recall, the other um, possessed normal people sprites were also blue. <laughs> you meet Johnny Bravo in tropical clothes. <laughs> to nuke him on holiday. <laughs> Accurate. The tough guy became tame. He became tame. Hey, what's up? I'm just trying to take a nap in the shade. Don't bother me. But your head is... You'd think you would turn around the other direction. I'm pretty sure your face is like right in the sun. You are not good at this at all, ma'am. No offense. I'm just pointing it out. I don't think you know what you're doing. <laughs> Calm down, too. If the kid beat my ass. <laughs> The sky's blue and the sun is high. The prices here are so high, it'll make your face turn blue. That's summers! Can I talk to this taxi? I'm so upset! Well, there's a guy in the museum who's very strange and talking about the... about Mr. Spoon. I guess we can go back to Foresight and see what... see what's up with that, but... Oh, get some jewelry. Maybe there's something in the shop. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. How annoying! Why are we wandering around? Why, why are you are... Huh? Why are you are wandering around? Summers is a posh resort made for adults. There's a big monster living in the sea between here and Scaraba. I've seen a picture of it. NPCs in the houses? Oh man! Two people to talk to! Dang! Look at all this swag stuff! Big League Bat! Oh dang! Super plush bear. Yo, son, we're gonna buy so much junk. This place isn't for looky loos. If you're not buying, get out. You know what? You're rude. I don't know if I want to buy anything from your rude ass store. Damn. By the way, if you're wondering, I do believe we have enough money to buy the house in, uh. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me. The house back yonder ways. You know, I might as well just... Oh, well, your hands are full, you piece of... Ah. Come back after dark and burn this store. Yes! Alright, everybody else is good. But of course we're going to pro we're gonna we're gonna pay before we we're gonna pay him with our money before we burn the place down because we might we might be we might be angry angry about his his you know rude magic but we're still we're still proper members of society we will pay we will you know help uh well he did say it was nice doing business with you but I don't know if that really. Maybe a gold bracelet? You think the guy would like a gold bracelet? Support small businesses! Yesterday was small business whatever, right? 
I support small businesses even if they're jackasses. No, stop, I don't... And I don't have enough money to buy another thingamajig. Okay. I figure, I figure, if all else fails... Oh, that's the hit guy. I mean, that's what he's there for. And I don't think we've actually ever asked him for anything yet. So why not? Is Nomi now the fastest one among us? Anyway, I heard there were people over the houses over yonder ways. Are you from Eagle Land? If you like adventure, this isn't your kind of place. You should travel across the sea to Scarabo from Toto, the port town. Toto, you say? Look at this weirdo. Only a tanning pro like me is able to get an actual suntan on the palms of his hands. He does have his hands up in the air. I salute you, sir. There's something living down there. Whoa! East of here is the port town of Toto. Oh no, I'm not a billboard. Look at all these people! Look at all these little, these little crazy! I love it over here! That cat doesn't like me. If you be heading to Scarabba, you have to shop here. Things are expensive down there, so what do you be looking for? I admire, I, I appreciate you having better prices. You're a weird looking fellow. Hello. Hey. I'm a grave robber! I was scared of the pyramid in Scarabba, so I didn't go in. But I tell people that I saw mummy-type monsters with my very own eyes. Do you just tell people? That you're grave- I mean, is that like it's a normal icebreaker for you? I- I'm a grave robber, hey. How's it going? <laughs> I'm glad that we reached the same question, Mori. Do you know the Stoic Club in Summers? You need to call a secret number for a reservation if you want to get in. What? Yeah, I'll give you the secret number. I warn you though, it's a strange place. SWEET! <laughs> Hello? Hello, Tilda. Oh, happy day! I finally got a hold of you! Oh, Tilda! Hi, it's me, Tony! I'm collecting players' names for a school project. You know, players, just like you. That's right, you, the one holding the controller. Would you register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong. So, uh, interesting fact here. If, t if uh, Tilda is not uh alive or is incapacitated whenever tony calls you he kind of flips out a little bit in case you were wondering Oh gosh, what is it? He gets- I can't remember exactly because I've only seen it, uh, I've never seen it in the English version, but I was translating the Japanese text of the game once trying to figure something out. 
um, running it through translators, but he basically he basically gets really distressed and upset and starts asking where to where uh, where Jeff or Tilda is like where where it's like like Tilda where's T like where is Tilda why is what what happened to him you have to bring him back my best friend Tilda you have to bring him back it's kind of sad actually. Game player, thank you very much. Is this correct? I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put my friend Tilda in any dangerous situations, okay? I worry about him. I really do. Well, talk to you later. Tilda, I hope that I can see you again when you are feeling up to it. From T-O-N-Y. You got that? Well, I've been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Beep. Tony is also, in case you're running, uh, canon, canon gay. That's, word of God, straight up a thing. Yeah, I don't think we can get back into Snowwood. God, Kit, why can't a 10 year old just want to hang out with this BFF? Why you gotta make it weird? If you come closer, I'll play the trumpet. That's not a trumpet. Uh, I don't know how to play it yet. That's good because that's not a trumpet at all! Don't worry, guys. Bow now, brown cow. What? Now, <laughs> wait, where's that cat? Oh, it's down here. I was like, is that? Dinosaurs existed! I saw one! I had been out in the underground when it dried out. It had been out of the underground when it dried out. Of course, it was dead. Believe what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll eventually be able to get back and see Tony. Fear not. But if you're wondering what he looks like, he's got a, he's got a little outfit like, like Tilda's, but, uh, he seems to be wearing shorts, despite the fact that it's raining, like, it's snowing, like, heavily in winters. Uh, I mean, he, got to, he has a little black hat and brown hair.
Would you like a boat ride? Hell yeah, I want a boat ride! I don't feel like sending a ship out. I'm worried about my wife. I'm not afraid of the Kraken. My wife's totally ignoring her magic cake business. MAGIC CAKE, YOU SAY? These days, she spends all her time hanging out in a strange club. We no longer have any mutual interest to discuss. I'M TEN YEARS OLD! Is our relationship older? Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, Oval, sir. Would you like me to make a reservation? Certainly. We are looking forward to having you here. Thank you. We actually can't tell what Tilda's eyes look like because because of his huge nerd glasses, but we have to assume that he has the same line face as everyone else. Knock the glasses off his face so we can see him look like a nerd. His nerdy squinty eyes. I spelled hyphen correctly when Tony called, right? I actually totally forgot that it was just like a random, you know, he just called randomly while you were there. What the heck is going on here? This lady looks kind of pregnant. She's also not moving. I'm kind of freaked out by that, actually. Like, everyone else is, like, walking in place and she's just completely still. You freak me out, lady. I'm gonna talk to you last. Didactically speaking, a similar evidence seems to implicate the fact that your reputed- <laughs> Your reputed- Your reputation- Reputation? Of entropy supports my theory of space-time synthesis. Of this, I am irrefutably confident. Yeah, they're basically all ten, you know, maybe maybe Till's a little bit older, I, I don't know, but they're basically little kids still. You know, I really want to eat some magic cake. It's a mysterious work of art. Can't get that cake off my mind. There's only been one woman who will make, make who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. Yeah, she's over there at the entrance. Anyway, the absolute irony of the study of self-identification is blah, 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 blah. I don't know what to do. Stoic clubs are fun, full of a bunch of, like, pseudo-intellectuals. I mean, it's not like his, his age is ever given. I just, I just stuck to 10 because, I, I, don't, I don't know, it just seemed right. The show? It's already started. Everyone stares at the stone on stage and philosophizes. Doesn't it sound stupid? What about you, Mr. T? You don't understand what the hell everyone is talking about, do you? I don't either, but I try to be patient with these customers. They pay high prices just for a glass of water and the chance to have serious intellectual discussions. Actually, it's an easy business. You want a drink? We only serve water, though. <laughs> Where's the Cynic Club? Let's go there next. Hmm. I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry. I was sleeping. 
I think she might be, she might have had too much magic cake and she might just be like zoned out of her mind. You guys can't envision the final collapse of capitalism? Incredible! Hey! You talking shit about capitalism? Eagle land! Eagle land! Eagle land! Eagle land! Eagle land! Oh shit. <laughs> I'm ten years old. I finally awakened the inner me, the true self. The patrons of this club are able to stare into their own soul hard, enough to burn a hole in their psyche. I'm now comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self. I burned the impression of, into my superego. I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, or at no time. My it is telling me, what? What? Magic cake? You came all this way just to eat my magic cake? <laughs> nah! Okay then, don't get in my way while I search for the little girl within me. You, th you weird me out. They do appear to- be, they don't worship the walk, rock, but they appear to- they like, they come in here to stare at it deeply and, uh, talk deeply, so. I see. Okay. Why don't you stop by a little cart out on the beach later? She didn't move- her feet didn't move as she walked. Did anyone else notice that? Did that happen? Was that a thing? I'm pretty sure that happened. She was just gliding out of there. You are high as shit, lady. I don't know who told you. You came from far off just to eat my magic cake. I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Again, I used all leftover materials. This is a very special magic cake. This is actually happening. This is legitimately happening right now. Amazing. Oval had a dream. It was a very clear and very strange dream. What the Healy? Dalam in the Far East. The Palace of Udon, the Crown Prince. The Healy's are shoes. Oh! I thought. I was thinking you said Healy's, and I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking drugs. I'm like, what the hell's a Healy in regards to drugs? I have never heard that term before. Okay, I know about Healy's in terms of, okay, I understand what you're saying now. You were talking about how she was reeling, wearing Healy's and that's why she didn't walk because she just rolled out. Okay, I was under the impression that you were talking about drugs she was using and that you saw children using, re using said drugs in a movie theater. This makes much more sense. Okay. I I'm I'm with it now. We're we're back we're back. We're back. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was some 
some sort of drug. I, I, <laughs> drugies. I don't know if you noticed, but it sounded like the music back there was like some sort of uh, the uh, like a same motif of the uh, dun 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 dun, which sounds kind of familiar. <laughs> Pinzudan, the time has come for you to undertake your final trial. I feel like drugs and shoes are some sort of weird in joke from somebody. I don't know. Tuck that away and think about it later. Go to the place of emptiness and endure this final test. Aw, oh, yeah, this bit! Hang on. Oh, shoot. I brought some stuff. I just remembered I left all my sound effects stuff in the bag. I took it with me over to my folks' place in case I ended up streaming on Saturday after all. And happened to need it. Okay, so I have to tell you guys about this upcoming part. I, I remember I told you, I don't know if I told this dream, but I mentioned it on Plurk. I had a dream about playing Earthbound with the stream. And it was, and, uh, like, Don and Mori were there. But I don't think they were actually ever both there at the same time. It was either one or the other. I think it, you guys, like, switched places with one another at some point. It was very strange. Like, you just suddenly morphed into one or the other. I, I don't know. Anyway, we were playing it, but I was playing it in, like, broadcasting it onto, like, a large TV in my room, in, like, in some room, and it was, it felt very, very strange. But it was this part that we were playing. And I forget. Oh, it was in the this part coming right after this bit. Um, I was really distressed because I was trying to read it out loud, but it, the screen, the text was all moving too fast, and I was getting really distressed because I couldn't read the text fast enough. You should never, never drop it. It's, it's. Gosh, gosh, next year is sure gonna be something. Oh no, I've said too much. I am planning to have success in this final stage of your training. Go quickly! Use the treasures of Delam as you wish. Go in peace. Nah, I didn't say anything that you guys probably don't already know, so... Wow! It's a cup of life noodles inside. Good to see that our friend Udon is equally enthusiastic about opening chests. Wow! There's a brain food lunch inside! So I'm not sure if I realized when I first played this, but it's, it's talking about brain food, as in like, brain food. Like, you know, food that's good to your brain, and not like a brain food lunch. We are playing as Udon. Udon is actually the last of our four playable characters. Spoilers! Look at this guy's silly head! Look at you! Look at you and your silly hair! Hello? Is that you, Oval? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Who are you pretending to be? Oh, well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you need to have a sense of humor at a time like this. 
I deposited eight hundred and five dollars into your bank account. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have. <laughs> ah! I XP to get to the next level. Udon, thirteen ninety. Anyway, what do you need from me? That guy is channeling Uda Oval's dad. <laughs> the guy is a telephone. Can't you tell by his hair? I forgot about Udon only being able to eat certain things. Is that really like a... My name's not Oval! God, Oval's dad just calls everybody and gets really confused. He called he called Tilda too. It is a mystery, Kit. It is a mystery. But all you need to know right now is that is that Oval and Pals are on one hell of a trip and we're playing as Udon. What all what that all means, we will we will find out uh in due time, probably. A brainstone A tiny ruby An old treasure from Delam Cake is one hell of a drug. Miraculous stone that enables you to concentrate without using your own brain. This is accomplished just by keeping this item. It's great because if you can't concentrate, you can't use Psy. Oh, that's nice. For those of you who don't remember, we named him Udon because Pooh's, one of Pooh's default names is, um, Ramen. It's spelled like R M. R A M I N or R A M I yeah I think it's R A M I N. Prince Udon, you're my favorite. Mom's a pretty pre it's a pretty looking place. So we're just gonna scope it out for a bit. Well on our way to the whatever of emptiness. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Hmm. Hmm. I think it's poo just because, I mean, that's just, that's an accurate translation of, I mean, that's, that's a, you know, the same way that Pokey's, um, Porky, you know, got translated. It's not so much an intentional gross out thing, though I'm sure that that was not lost on them. You get a chuckle out of that every time, every time we talk about Pooh's pee pee. That's great. Thank you. He's playing an instrument. Oh, Prince Udon! I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems like that's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. Ladies, please! Prince Udon adjusts his shades. For some reason, that reason is the 90s. And then, that reason was the 90s and Earthbound. Please come in, look around the house as much as you want. Yeah, I think Udon's supposed to be like a tiny bit older. 
Hogwarts Udon, do you have time to play with me? No. I knew it. Training changed you. I'm jealous of your training. Baby, I was just playing with you. Happy me. Patty cake, patty cake. How old are you? I just rested some garlic and ate it, so the room still stinks. Is training another word for puberty? I hope so. God, I hope so. I really hope it's, it's, uh... Wait a second! That is the wrong kind of patty cake. Fine, you didn't say anything, but that's that is what I got from from that that implicate that. I apologize. Perhaps it is I who should take the blame. But when you end, when you reply, "Oh, baby," to that, I can't help but think that you were. In thinking of the uh, kind of patty cake that goes on in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Well, excuse me. I will take the blame. Links are on now. Um, I really hope that training is puberty. I'm, I'm going to stick by that. Puberty is hell. Salam restaurant. We accept. We accept dollars. Dollar dollar bills. Let's go to the place of emptiness to acquire this puberty. <laughs> I want to see this picture with tra training and quotes being reminds me of this picture. Let me see the picture. I'm gonna go to the restaurant while I wait. Prince Udon, you are such a hunk. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You know a baby. Adjust shades. Rolls off to place of emptiness. There's a bowl of rice grill inside. Bitches love me. This light always made me laugh when I played this game originally. <sighs> it still makes it still it still makes me grin in a stupid way now. I wish I could recover my PP just by drinking water. Even though I have never seen him before, I heard that the prince can do that. I guess I need more training. By the way, just what is PP anyway? Spoilers, I'm the prince. We serve water, rice gruel, and those sorts of things. What would you like to do? A jar of deli sauce? Oh boy. With my zero dollars. I'm the prince. Won't you just give me whatever I want? Can we talk to people in this house? No. We have not. Wow! There's a jar of deli sauce inside. Well, that's convenient. You know what you do? 
You know that you do do everything well, right? Do do? Oops. Say, Prince Udon, are you still popular with the girls? Yeah! I heard you're living a more serious lifestyle these days. Now I'm curious if there's a similarly dumb pun like joke like that in the original. The... Even I can carry seriously. Well, it doesn't mean I'm not popular with the girls. I'm still popular with the girls. I can't. Ch that just keeps. What the heck is going on here? As strange as this may sound, there are statues of rabbits blocking your way. Nobody knows what they're doing there. Have I seen everything? You got in this one? I forget if I did. Hang on. I hate when there are just statues of rabbits getting in my way. <sighs> this is Moo, the place of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of Moo, you'll pass through. Moo is Moo. Get ready, guys. This is probably one of the most memorable moments in this game. Probably. You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Udon. Long ago, I completed Moo training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again. So long. What? What? Okay, bye! This game is full of memorable moments, it's true. I am a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Udon, you must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give this trial now. Believe what I say. It is the truth. So I'm pretty sure at any time we have the ability to, yeah, like we have the ability to get up and move at any time, in case you're curious. How do I start training again? Can I not do it again? I screwed it up, now I'll never learn move. You you had one chance, Udon. You, you blew it. You blew it, kid. I was just confirming that you are able to leave at any time. I didn't think it would actually... Ruin everything. Shit! Okay, let's go back in the house and see if we can reset it. You're a liar! You don't know my master! Not even I know my master! Oh my god, is it not let me do it anymore? Did I fucking screw it up? Oh god! What was I doing? I guess we'll go talk to our master and maybe maybe our master will be able to I heard that Prince Udon is deeply into moo training. I want to help him if I can. You lying bitch. You don't want to help me. Master! What up, Master? I won't say anything. Go to Moo, the place of emptiness again. Uh, Master, why?!
He just shakes his head disappointed. Disappointed but not surprised. Shut up, bitch! This is such weird sounds. Like, kind of like motorcycles revving in the distance. I love his tiny little focus meditation sprite. Wait, I should be sitting in that pose too. Um. Vroom, vroom. Oh wait, hang on. Transudon! I am the spirit of the ancient lineage! Space beard. <laughs> to complete your trial, I am going to break your legs! <laughs> you wonder, how can we both went to middens right away? You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? Yo! Yo! Hey! -o! <laughs> I'm 14. So, uh, do do we do we accept this? I mean, I, I guess like <laughs> you accept this? I'm 14. So that's a yes then. Oh shit. <laughs> so, Prince Udon, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. Then, the taking of your arms. Do you accept this? <laughs> A space beard broke our legs and is now going to tear up our arms. <laughs> ah, wait. Ah, Prince Udon. The damsel still take us without arms. The pushes around in our in our uh in our wheelchair. We can't play patty cake without arms. Oh no! Without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? Oh, well, our HP's already zero, man! I'm, I'm freaking... I'm freaking... Shit, man! I mean, if you guys have probably already figured out what happens if we say no. But if you want, we can try it, but... If we say no, it takes us back to the to the uh, to the title screen, and we have to agree to we have to agree to go around with a sentient gun unless we or a sentient ghost beard if we want to uh, progress in the game. We don't need no stinking ears. That just happened. It just cut off all of the audio. So I guess, I don't know if you should be able to hear me now. I'll still read it, but I'll... 
Yep, everyone cover your ears now, okay? Cover your ears for this part so that you can't hear me as loudly. So, Prince Udon. No legs, no arms, and no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you. Do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? Shit, man! Shit! I just... Ah! This is getting too weird! Like, I knew this part was coming, and it's still really, really weird to be reading it! <laughs> you might as well, man! You're screwing my life up enough as it is! You might as freaking well! Do it for the dames! I might- I might as- I might as well do this! Fourteen-year-old prince life is already so goddamn weird. You guys better still have your hands over your ears. So, Prince Udon. Now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. Though you probably don't want to allow that, do you? So, you can't answer? You can't even move? Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you may also lose any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I will take your mind, Prince Udon. Know that I will possess it. Boy, no more feelings. <laughs> I still have my torso. Prince Udon, you have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry, now, and return to the palace. I can't, my everything is broken. Why is that man yelling at- why is that man making noises at me? I can't- Like, he's- his mouth is- wait, no, we wouldn't be able to see it either. He's just lying there de dumbly. We owe him ghost money. Maybe- maybe the whole reason he was taking all of our limbs was because he was just a floating ghost beard. He needed all of those body parts so that he could make a- construct a, br a body. <laughs> Brought your torso down the mountain. So that he could get all the dames, too. He was jealous of all the dames, and I was kidding. Anyway, that was the scene that I had in my dream, was was the, uh, the encounter with the ancestor. There you go, gang. There you go. <laughs> Gonna be like reverse Raymond. I told you it was one of the most memorable moments. I didn't lie to you now, did I? You will remember it. Years after we finish this game, you will probably remember that scene. Meanwhile, our friend Oval is tripping serious balls. I can't. I have no hands. So anyway, to answer your question, yes, the training is puberty. That's what puberty is like. That is puberty. There you go. That's what you have to look forward to, Oval. That's what you have to look forward to. I am proud. You have completed your new training. 
There is nothing more to teach you with the holy writings. Prince Udon, I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. Jacked up, but super cool! God, I love the freaking little details in this game. It's just all- Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Moodens! <laughs> That's it! There we go! Moodens. The greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One named Oval is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Udon. Now that you've completed your training, search out Oval at once. For all beings, for the Earth herself, I pray for growth in the might of the four. Udon's level is now 16! Offense went up by two! Defense went up by two! Speed went up by two! Guts went up by two! Vitality went up by two! IQ went up by one! Sweet! Max HP went up by 30! XMP B went up by 5! We don't realize the power of shield B! We don't have self 17! Off it went up by 1! Oh my god, how long are we gonna do this? I've been up by 1! Teleport A! Oh my god! Give me some good level ups! We, we learned it! These are some sweet ass te um, level ups we're getting in terms of powers! Goodbye! I like how Oval wandered- I like how in his- in his drug-induced stupor, Oval probably fell down the stairs and landed- and ended up here on the beach. My name is Udon. I am the one who will fight beside you. I am the Serpent of Oval. I will obey Oval. Oval, my life is in your hands. Udon joined you. That wasn't weird at all. <laughs> okay, I'm Tin. You're making it weird, man. Congratulations! We got the whole gang assembled! So, in case you're wondering, Udon is level thir eight, level 18 as opposed to our level 40-somethings. That's... happening. I can no longer make magic cakes, but it doesn't matter because now I'm selling magic tarts, which taste even better than magic cakes. I only have this. Give me one! You reminded me how much I love this job. Yeah, well, you're... You know what? You're something else, lady. <laughs> Alright. Trial by fire, Prince. He literally wants to fight. How has she not been arrested? Maybe it's legal. Maybe it's legal in summers. We don't know. Mirror. I don't remember. I don't remember how uh, Udon's skills work at all. I Don't kill her, I wanna- I wanna- I wanna- PNW? What does PNW mean? Over- Udon relaxed and took a deep breath. 
Umino could not turn into the mad taxi. Wait, are you a mimic? Oh, well, no, Summers is its own country entirely. Summers is, like, supposed to represent, like, a fancy foreign country. Kind of Mediterranean from the atmosphere. Amsterdam. They got really expensive gelato here. I'll tell you that. Which reminds me, wouldn't be a wouldn't be a vacation without some getting some expensive gelato. Yes, Tilda is the only one who cannot use psychic powers. He, uh, he uses, uh, he's an inventor. He makes bottle rockets and other little things that can be used in fights. Ice cream that is all the rage among fashionable young women would eat and recover about 30 HP. No better. You cannot get in without paying admission. It's three dollars per person. You'll pay, won't you? There's that weird guy. Oh, the samurai kid is here. That's racist! Will he be giving me that gym? Uh. Excuse me? So, what he just handed me is not a gym. Ha ha ha! I'm going to really enjoy the cookie that I just got. Let's pretend this conversation never took place. Well, I'm pretending. You go on in. I don't understand what just happened. I'm ten. Whatever, that means we get to keep this sweet bracelet, so... Who has it in their... Inventory. Tilda does. Can you even can you even equip this udon? Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, let's get you some... Wait. That's so weird. If we put it on him, his defense drops to zero. Material possessions are for chumps! That's what I get from you, huh? Alright then, I, I can dig that. I'll give it back to... Get back to Oval then. Oh, come on. This is some night at the museum bullshit. The Shattered Man Attack! Oh man. Set him on fire! Turn into him!
The Shatter Man growled and lunged forward. 282 feet more damage! Oh no, hold on! Hold on! Shit, we killed the prince! We are not still tripping, no. At least I don't think we are. Doo -doo -doo. We've actually been tri we tripping since Moonside. We never actually stopped being under the hallucination. We just thought we broke it. But we were actually we, we didn't go deep enough. Well, that was good. Good job. Good job raising Udon's level, guys. Let's bounce. We can come back here. By the way, I saw next year that they're going to be releasing little, um, like, cell phone charms. I think they're cell phone charms. Um, based on the, uh, little angel sprites for the party members. And you also have a chance of getting, um, like a rare chance of getting the... The, uh, little carbonized sprite from whenever you turn it, whenever you mess up while teleporting. Where's the... Is there a hospital in around here? He's serious about being dead! Udon's serious about everything. Maybe he's like 12 or something. Who knows? Hmm. I mean, I could see Tilda being maybe a little bit older too. Whatever. They're all a bunch of kids, is what is all that matters at the end of the day. None of them have driver's licenses. And only one of them can fit on a bicycle at a time. Maybe you're gonna go get some photo ops with our new buddy. Is that a police officer? Fight him! Fight the cop! You engage the overzealous cop! Yep, for the most part. It came out swinging! Udon's level is 919. Oh, baby! Offense went up by 3, defense went up by 1, speed went up by 1, luck went up by 1, max HP went up by 3, XPP went up by 2. Fighting police officers is a time honored hmm, oval tradition. Turn to the sign, do it. We don't stop crying. Yikes, we don't turn into the mad taxi. Sweet! Oh man, hang on. Accelerated! Just missed! Udon revved and accelerated! A 
I'm so happy right now. Oh, so it's now 48. Oh, baby, offense went up by three. Speed went up by one. Oh, baby, guts went up by three. Vitality went up by two. Luck went up by two. Oh, sweet. Max HP went up by 25. Max and PP went up by one. I like to imagine that rather than actually turning into a car, he just like he takes the part and like makes car noises and runs at it. I mean, I'm not sh actually. I'm not sure which one I'd like better. If that was the actual thing that was, if he was actually turning into a car, or if he was just making car noises and charging at it. He paints a box like a taxi. He's just sitting there off to the side of the fight. For me. That's what he's doing the entire time he's he's concentrating. He takes a deep breath and paint and makes a prop. And depending on how well the prop looks when he's done. This kid's in that Pokemon show where everyone thinks they're a Pokemon, yes. Okay, I was gonna get a little bit more leveling in before we ran back up to the exhibit. Oh yeah, boat ride! We can do that now. Since we helped the wife. this way. Nothing but a whole bunch of boats! This new guy is kind of weird. Nomi, are you sure you picked the right guy? <gasps> no, the cat's looking the wrong way! I'm <laughs> taking on a boat. Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself! Okay, get ready for an instant memory! Look at the camera! Ready? To get the sailor in our picture too. Say, Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph! It will always bring back the fondest of memories! Thank you, you made my wife wake up. She quit talking about all that serious crap. Yeah, let's work hard. If you're courageous, get on this boat. You'll probably see the crack and experience getting seasick. Send a copy of, this of the photo to Tony. Oh no! Oh no. Is this Captain Haddock? Yes. After all, it could only cost you your life, and you got that for free! Luck will determine the outcome of this voyage. So, do you want to sail the seas to Scaraba? Twenty bucks per person is fine with me. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to die! I understand. Stay here and shiver in fear for your future. Ha 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 ha! What a weird ass guy. This cat just meows at me. Wait, was this the cat inside that was meowing before? There was a cat in this house before, wasn't there? I don't want to go out to sea because of the kraken. I mean, any normal person would feel the same way. We should just crash one of these empty houses. No one's living here. Maybe it was that one that had the meow cat in it.
Ah! I was incur I was mistaken. It was indeed that one. Look at the stairs that lead nowhere. These are just effect stairs. Good thing we're not normal. I ain't scared of no Kraken. But before we do that, I feel like I can't remember if we need to level Udai a little bit first. You buy as well. I can't remember if it would be suicide to just go right on the boat right now, or if we'd be all right. You get me? Turn to the crazy sign. Do it. Do it. I haven't had Uda do any regular attacks. I just had to mirror the entire time. Baby offense went up by four. Oh, baby, defense went up by five. Speed went up by one. Oh, baby, IQ went up by three. And luck went up by one. Extra HP went up by three. That rocks. Maximum PP went up by 11. Level 20. Wait, where are we in here? Except using the free phone! By the way, if you were curious, um. The difference between. Oh. Oh, Alpha and Beta with, uh, teleport. Well, it covers it here. Um, you don't have to have the running approach. Oops. I'm just gonna prank call the show it club. It didn't work at all. Is that the teleport photo guy uses? It doesn't seem like it because he actually sort of like that was the teleport that the guy who was sitting in front of us on the on the uh who was sitting in front of the the place of emptiness seemed to use because it kind of Tornado away. Photo guy is just who knows what photo guy is doing. He's a he's a tear all his own. I have to call my folks. <laughs> Teleport guy is the most powerful fly user at all. PK photography.
Our teleport man is going to be spinning in a large circle. He can simply turn in place. He obviously knows side teleport um, eggplant. Or uh, maybe... Cubert. <laughs> I gotta say, though, what I like to imagine, though, is whenever... Because only one of them knows the ability. I know we've talked about this. Only one of them knows the ability, so it's weird that we can travel to places that the other party members have gone to. But just imagining them all, like, holding hands and running in a really long line really fast together. It's so stupid. and It's, it's like, almost charming in how stupid it is to imagine all these kids trying to teleport together. Like, Because... I assume an Oval could do it by himself, but then he tries to get the others to come with him, and it's just like, shit, like, everybody just hold on. Why are they, why are there a bunch of, a bunch of kids just running, running down the highway? Holding hands. Uh, kids these days. Who wants to fight me? Fight me! I guess we could just go save and then see if we, how how unprepared we are. What? Yeah! Beach photo! This is actually a pretty cute shot, in terms of being lined up nicely. Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory! Look at the camera. Ready? Say, fuzzy pickles! Wow! What a great photograph! It will always bring back... Who <laughs> isn't in this shot? Don't worry, it's a, it's a wide angle. <laughs> the 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 pictures are just triggered whenever you get to rent certain spots. It's not like they're uh, it's we just happen to stumble across another one kit. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Alright, I'm gonna go safe. Oh wait, before we go to Skarala, we should probably check out that hieroglyph, huh? We actually went up there but didn't actually look at it because we got beat up by a by a mummy. We went crying to our mummy after we got beat up by a mummy. And then there was this guy, he was suspicious. Still suspicious. I love the ominous little chord. Do 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 do. The weird happening sound. We're in control now!
Her shirt's... I got the Zeus on the mouth. I should see Monsters U eventually. The Shutter Man gave you a great big hug! Normally suddenly could not move. First bit. I haven't seen Monsters Inc. in years either. Blah 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 blah. Twenty one. Whoop whoop. Mike is featured in a commercial for the company, only to be immediately covered up by the company's logo. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Good. Check it out. Udon read the hieroglyphs. Are you our Gary? Well, he's older than us and can read things that we can't. Foreign prince dad. Pr prince bro? Prince bro. To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. And his hair is odd, it's true. However, our efforts were futile and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid was protected by the gods of Skarava. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their evil stronghold. A place of time is beyond the dark. And even farther beyond the lost underworld. Was it short before Brave the one with the stars? Because I freaking loved that one! Ah, That was so cool! I really loved that one too. The deep darkness is shrouded. It is without light. Only one with Hawkeye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches over everything, waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. Oh god, there's some sort of code here! Dot dot four three two five. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Oh shit. Somebody write this down. It's like bigger dot, little dot, four, three, two, five. Udon had a Udon, Udon, you've talked more- you're talking too much, it's freaking me out! You just walk as if you were drawing a five-pointed star. Whoa! That's crazy! Oval, let's go to Skaraba. The pyramid is the key. Wait one second. Here's a picture of the hieroglyphs just for you. It's a reward for studying so hard. And certainly not for giving me all that- giving me that cookie! Use it in your human civilization class. Ha ha ha!
Excellent. Do you feel like you're really experiencing this great historical period? The experience is more valuable than a small gym. Ha ha ha. The other day, a rich kid came to Summers by helicopter. He also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. I got lots of money from him. <laughs> Oval and Nomi played jacks with one another while Tilda and Udon talked about stuff. The phone! Where's the- where's the attendant? Why is the person no one- why is no one taking the phone? The phone? Also, flash I bet he used flash photography. That was one of the points I brought up with my mom. It's like, he's- about, I was telling my mom about Pokey, and I was telling him- her about how he stole a helicopter. I'm like, you're not old enough- I think you have to have a license for that. Also, I'm pretty sure you're like, what, 11? I don't know. This is wrong on all kinds of levels. Anyway, let's go answer the phone since the receptionist isn't here. Hello? Is this Mr. Fork of the Scaraba Cultural Museum? It doesn't sound like you. Well, I'll quickly tell you my story because I'm busy, busy, busy. I found something so extraordinary that mere words could not do it justice. What do you mean, who am I? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Mr. Spoon, from the Forsyth Museum of Natural History. Look, Mr. Fork, I'm not exaggerating this find. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. It's outrageous. It's like, beep. Did we hang up on him, or did he hang up on us? Hey, Mr. Okay, fine. I don't want to get caught up in your weird nerd drama. I was just trying to relay a message. <laughs> Do you not realize the voice talking to him was a child? I don't know, Mr. Spoon seemed kind of like a sort of loopy fellow, so I wouldn't- I mean, it's possible he didn't, I, who knows. Oh, I have to call my folks. I'll be back in just a few minutes, gang.
Gang. Hey, gang. Okay, I want to let you know. I was just reading Legends of Localization while I was calling my folks up. And I want to let you know that the if you come any closer, I'll play the trumpet. That, um... It sounds like we were talking about how it sounded like a weird threat. It is actually, it is legitimately a threat in the original Japanese version. Just like, come any closer and I'll play. That, so we, we definitely interpreted that exactly. Boom. Hi, everybody. Why trumpet, especially when you're playing a saxophone? Bad trumpet busters. Hey Alex, hey everybody. Alright, we're doing it. I also realized that there were a few NPCs around here that we haven't talked to yet. We'll deal with them later. I ain't even in the mood. Wait. Go back to the... Something important isn't recorded in ancient characters. I can't read this, though. How can Oval read them now? I guess because Tilda- I mean, because uh, Udon taught him how to read it. Okay, sure. I don't remember what they're talking about here. Whatever. Alright, since it's Sunday, I do have to get up early in the morning and go to work, so I probably need to stop here before too long, but let's get on the boat first. Let's see if we're, if we're in for, if we're really in for it or not. We'll see if I, if I'll regret not shelling out the money for the rest of the, for updated equipment for everyone. Or defense equipment, anyway. We're reckless, baby! Bon voyage! By the way, I don't have any control here. Wait, I want to stop there. Turn around, I might go to that little island. Wait! Wait! Wait. I need to stop the boat. It's been a long time since I was out on the open sea. So I feel seasick. Oh man, what am I going to do? A sailor who gets seasick? So how come you guys are alright? So, that ball guy over there. 
Your buddy, right? You came from the lob? You guys must be quite the adventurers. Aren't there times when you just like to go back home? So, you're not some mama's boy. Well, it wouldn't hurt you to go back and visit once in a while. Ha ha ha! I'm feeling much better now. Anchors away! No, I'm just imagining what it would be like. No, I'm just I'm just imagining what Earthman would be like if Uran didn't actually speak English. And the entire game was just or like he could understand it, but he couldn't speak it very well. So a lot of the time he just remained quiet. Or even if he just couldn't understand it, so everyone's just talking at him and he just kind of Quit your belly I can tap him. person at uh, Yomacon who cosplays the Kraken and they do a really nice job. It's they're a swell person. They're always really excited when people recognize them too. <laughs> That's like a Trogdor Kraken. How would a crack that even work? I will find a picture for you. Hang on. We're doing this right now. Yeah, I found a picture of him. Okay, okay, okay. Dang it! Stop! Just let me show the picture. Eh. 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 This is a nice person. shield on as we all died. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. We were not we were not ready. Stock up on illegal weapons. That's what we need to do. You are very true. Let's get some rockets. Take a rocket to the Kraken. We'll do that next time. I gotta head to bed, guys. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy yourselves. We're on. We're on. We're uh, making our way through the game.
Yeah, I remember that now. The, uh... All the bombs and stuff. I have a recollection of that. I'll see you guys on on Thursday, all right? You have a you have a great one. Don't meditate so hard that your limbs fall off or are yanked off or you go blind or, you know, deaf or all of those things.